Hey everyone, it's Donna here, and I am here today with the, I would say, next to last installment of my D-stash of my craft room. Um, what I'm doing, what I'm selling today is everything that was left after putting together those mystery boxes that I sold um, a couple of weeks ago. Uh, I'm selling everything um, individually, so if there's certain things that you had wanted, uh, they're they're sold individually today. Uh, in a few weeks, I am finished with the wedding dress, the last wedding dress that I had taken it apart. So I will be doing um, wedding dress parts and pieces and appliques and that kind of thing. But that probably won't be for a couple of weeks because I'm um, busy the next couple of weekends. Um, so if you are interested in anything you see today, you will need to send me an email. My email address will be down below in the description box and it will also be at the bottom of this video. Um, if you have never ordered from me before, you will need to send me your zip code and your PayPal email address so that I can calculate shipping. When you order, please send me, um, use the lot numbers that all of these um, items have. Uh, as things sell out, I'll mock them sold down below just as quickly as I can so you can tell what's available and what's not. Um, I think I'm... Hmm, I think I'm going to do just U.S. only again this time because some of these things are, are quite heavy. Um, okay, let's get started. Um, I'm going to waive the $5 minimum uh, because I, I want this stuff to, to go. Anything that doesn't sell from today's video is going to get donated to the Disabled Artists Foundation. I already have several boxes ready to go for them. Um, so let's get started. I have a lot to, to get through. Up first is lot 143. It is a bag of 10 different um, li um, ribbons and they're all um, velvet ribbons. Some are, some are new, some have been, have been used to some degree, all different colors. Um, this one is velvet but it's got some shiny in it so this is lot 143 10 velvet ribbon spools uh, I only have this one and this is a dollar fifty lot 143 lot 144 is a bag of Scrabble tiles this is all I have left all that I'm not keeping for myself it's just a whole bag of miscellaneous Scrabble tiles uh, this is lot 144, it is $1.50 for this bag. Lot 145 is a whole spool of um, burlap trim. It is not wired and it is five and a half inches wide. This is lot 145, I, uh, I'm selling this whole spool for $1.50. Lot 146 is just some number, number wooden number tiles. Um, it's one through, I think it's the complete set, one through 31. Um, this is lot 146. This bag is 50 cents. 147 is a bag of, oh, my, my thing broke. This is... German glass glitter. Um, it uh, it is shards of glass and it very very shiny. And then these are all little things of um, uh, glitter and little octagon. I don't know if you can. Uh, it's not going to focus. Not going to focus. They're all different combinations of these little glittery, glittery things. There's a whole, whole bag of those. It, they look very similar, but they're different combinations of glitter and the, the little octagon um, sequin things. So this is a lot 147. Um, this is a dollar fifty. Lot 
Lot 148 is a set of Perlex uh, pigment powders. Um, they are mica powders. It's the complete set. They're barely used. Um, this is lot 148 and it is $4. Lot 149 is a set of 13 Perfect Pearl powders in a variety of colors. This is lot 149. This bag is $4 for the Perfect Pearl powders. Is a chalk set. Um, I have these little tiny cotton ball things on them. I kept them on there. How I would apply them would be, and I'm, this will come with it, but my little applicator thing. I would grab a hold of it, put the powder, and then put it on the, the project. Whoops. Get back on there. Get back in there. It comes with several different little applicators also on the side here. This is lot 150 chalk set, $2 with the applicator. 151 is a bag of bag o glitter. They have a whole thing of Martha Stewart extra fine. It's never been opened even. And all different types of glitter. There's some gold. There's some white. I thought maybe this was embossing glitter. All different shades. Shades and colors. A whole bag of different ones. Some, some golds. So this is lot 151. Bag of glitter. $2.00. Fifty-two is some gold leaf, and this one is variegated green. Um, oh, it's right there. There's I don't know how many sheets. Twenty-five sheets. I I might have used one or two, but here's what it what it. Let's see if I can do this without. That's what it looks like. It has a little bit of green in it. So this is, originally it was $10.50. Um, lot 152 gold leaf, this one is $2.53 are magnet strips. Um, these are already pre-cut magnet strips that you can use to... to closed journal covers or whatever you want to use it for and this one is on a, a roll uh, both pieces one dollar lot 153 of magnet strips oh, some of the some of the gold leaf got away lot 154 is a bag of all little um, organza Miscellaneous organza gift gift bags in different colors. Um, there's a whole whole set of pink ones. There's one in here that has beads on it. Where is it? This one has some some beads on the bottom. So whole bag of gift bags. This is lot 154. This bag is two dollars. Lot 155 is a bag of crystal dangles. Well, they're not crystal; they're like resin, I guess. But they're they're still very 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 shiny. They have a hole in the top where you can run some string or wire through it, and you can use it for a dangle. So whole bag of those lot 155 this is a dollar fifty
rearrange. Oh, these are gonna go. These are gonna fall. All right, one fifty-six is a set of old photos. Um, this one, this first one, is just the the can the outside thing. I just thought it was it's very textural. You can put your own own photo back there. So I thought maybe somebody could use that, but these all have photos in them. Um, this one is very dapper couple. This one's a bunch of migrant workers. Whole family photo here. And this one is a woman. This looks very much like my mother when she was around that age. It's not her though. So this is a whole set of photos in this one photo holder. Um, Five dollars for this set. That was what lot one fifty six. One fifty seven is nineteen card toppers. These are, are these are made by me um, through the years. They're ready to go on top of a just a card that you can uh, do the inside. There's all different occasions. You've got birthday, father. Let me just flip through them real quick. Come down a little bit. Ooh, sorry. Birthday to my mom, dad, pretty garden. These are made with those peg stamps, which I think I have some coming up later in this video. Birthday mom, birthday mom, this one has a pretty beaded butterfly on it. I did not beat the butterfly. Mother's Day, birthday, birthday dad. Birthday, another birthday, Father's Day, thank you, Mother's Greatest Dad, Mother, Christmas, Christmas, more Christmas, this one's beaded, and Christmas. So this is a lot, 157 set of 19 card toppers. This one is $6. 158. Oops. Um, this one I'm going to divide into two different sets, but it'll be random. Um, there, It will be a set of 25 vintage um, baby and children's cards. I'm just going to flip through these really quick so you can see. It'll be different sizes, different shapes. It'll be some combination of these. I'm going to divide it into two, two equal piles of 25. Really cute. Most of these are my baby cards from when I was born and when I was a child. Um, I have kept the ones that are meaningful to me from, you know, my grandparents and people I know who they are. <laughs> um, they, they have, will have writing on the inside. Most of them are these um, bifold where you can journal on the inside. Most of them, some of them are not. But... It'll be some combination of these cards that you can use in your junk journals. So this is a lot 158, 25 vintage baby cards um, for $3 each, and I will have two of these available. All right, I need to put you on pause and go in the other room and get more. I don't have enough room on my craft table for everything I'm selling, so hold on. Okay, lot 159. Is a bag full of um, leaves. There's some leaves in here. There's some flower stamens. And there are some paper and silk, silk flowers of different 
sizes, lots of colorful. Um, there's some more leaves, falls coming up. You got some nice fall colors there. There's some white, white leaves and different miscellaneous petals, things to make flower decorations for your for your journals. There's a whole bag. Some are colored, some are plain. So that is Oh, sorry for the sound. I'm sure that's making a lot of noise. Uh, lot 159 flowers and leaves, $4. And I'm selling this whole bag for $4. Lot 160 is what I have left of the rosette and tulle trims. Um, there's some fuzzy trims. These are um, tulle, tulle trims. Some rosettes. Some pink um, tool trim. This is in here. Blue and pink tool trim, and then rosette uh, rosette trims. There's a whole pile of those. This, this whole bag is lot one sixty. I only have. I'm selling this whole bag and four, and it's four dollars. Lot one sixty. Lot 161 is what I have left of my mulberry flowers. It's everything I have left. Just miscellaneous mulberry flowers, different colors, different shades, different styles. All different kinds. So this is lot 161, Mulberry Flowers. I'm selling this bag for $4. Lot 162 is everything I have left of my sequins that I use for shaker cards. There's all different, different ones in here. Some stars, some pearl ones, different colors. these colorful ones. We have some Easter, some balloons and streamers, some some letters, and these little tiny pearl ones. So this is lot 161, bag of sequins. This is one dollar. I'm selling the whole bag for one dollar. trays. Ooh, something in here is heavy. Lot 163 whoops, is going to be a bag of feathers. Um, did I do this as? No. It will be a bag of feathers and they will be some white marabou feathers in both of them. And just different colored feathers, some peacock feathers, some blue, some yellow, some pink. All right, All right now let's see if I can do that. We've got different, it'll be different. I've got two bags, it'll be a random bag. They both have similar, there's the white marabou, some more white marabou, some pink, and some blue, and some red. Some brown. So, lot 163 is a bag of feathers, and they are a dollar fifty per bag. And I have two of these bags. Uh, 164. I have some bags left of these um, lock charms. Um, I have four of these available, and they are fifty cents per bag. And that's lot 164. Lot 165, I have two bags left of these tiny, tiny embellishments, little tiny ones. I used to make collage jewelry with these kinds of things. 
Uh, this is lot 165. I have two of these available, and these are 50 cents each as well. One sixty-six are card decorations. At one time, I was obsessed with making these dimensional. You can see they're on pop dots, and they're colored with um, gel pens. <clears throat> Excuse me. So there's a whole bag of these. They're intended for greeting cards, but you can also use them. To decorate journals as well there are most of them are dimensional that's dimensional so there's a whole whole bag of these all different there's some, some hearts a lot of these flowers that are dimensional I was as you can tell, I was obsessed with these, <laughs> and I made a bunch into cards, but, so, you get the gist. This is lot 166, card decorations, this whole bag for $2, there's ours, and there's some in here that haven't, that have been colored, that haven't been made into anything, they're not dimensional. There's a whole flower bouquet back here. So that is lot 166, uh, $2 for the whole bag. 167 is um, a bag of black lace trim and a black collar. The lace trim, I'm not sure how many yards there are in here, it's probably at least a couple of yards. This is what the black trim looks like. Oops, come on, come on, focus. Mm, it's not going to focus. Anyway, that's what the black trim looks like. And then there's a black vintage collar in here as well. So this is lot 167. Bag of black lace. $3 for this one. got away. There's a yellow feather from one of the bags. Uh, 168 is bling and bead trims. This is the whole bag and there's all different bling trims. Some beaded, some beaded trims. There's lots of bling in different shades, different sizes rhinestones there's some beaded trim and kind of a, a green some ribbon slides some black sequin trim some mesh trim this is black with little bead silver beads in it just a whole bag full of different Trims. There's some see, there's some flat back um, Aurora Borealis trims or pearl trims. There's some red and some black beaded trim. There's some gray gray heart heart trim as well. All right, so that is well, about 168. This is some more mesh trim whole bag of beaded trim five dollars for this one i only have this one bead cording there's there's lots of bead cording there's these different um, stretchy ones like to make bracelets 
there's a whole roll of this uh, monofilament. There's several, there's this card with some chains already on it, ready to make into necklaces. Um, there's some little bags of, what is this? Gem, Mount Sapphire. Hmm. So there's supposedly some sapphire in there. There's another chain. There's some, some more cording. These are all the uh, like leather leather necklaces and some with ribbon on them. They're already ready to go into necklaces. There's a bag of letter letter beads so you can make names. Here's some more. This is beading wire, tiger tail wire. I have some more of the, um, the eye pins for making like domino or some hair tie things, several different hair tie things, some to make pins, pins, pin backs some bead caps, some eye pins, um, miscellaneous jewelry pieces, jewelry findings to make bracelets and earrings. Here's some more um, things for pins. All right, so this is a whole bag of jewelry making supplies selling the whole bag and it is eight dollars that was a lot 169 lot 170 is a uh, wallpaper vintage wallpaper in different come back out a little bit. Am I recording? Yes. <laughs> Thought maybe I hadn't pushed the, the play button. All different vintage wallpaper in different sizes, different pieces. A couple of those. Seems very kind of looks almost painted. There the roses. So the roses. So this is a folio of wallpaper. Uh, this is lot one seventy, and this is two dollars. you on pause and go get more so I'll be right back okay I'm back almost done uh, only a few more lots to go lot 171 is a set of new pastels they are barely used um, they are let me see firm pastel color sticks so these are a whole set of pastels. Lot 171. This one is five dollars. Lot 172 is a pile of linens. Um, there's a quilted piece here. There's a couple of pieces of white work. This one has Battenberg in it. Um, this tablecloth has a pretty crocheted edge to it and, and embroidery on it it is damaged um, so you can cut this up to your little old heart's desire and 
here's this runner or tablecloth vintage oh pillowcase this also has an edge that has some damage so you can cut this up let's see there and an embroidery on it and a whole bunch of nice vintage vintage um, cotton already looks tea stained um, another this one is a table runner that has a um, flower basket and butterfly and it's probably on both ends yes on both ends um, this one probably has there's a little bit of staining but this one is in pretty good condition it has a pink crochet edge down here and then some miscellaneous pieces be good for a journal cover very textured pieces of upholstery fabric so this is lot 172 pile of linens and this one is eight dollars 173 is a set of oh all of my um, rubber bands are breaking a uh, set of peg stamps 173a is a complete set with the instructions on it as well um, 173a this one uh, they're all four dollars um, this is kind of an I meant to show this the last time kind of an example of a bookmark that I made using um, I don't know if it was this one it might have been this this one here yeah I think it was uh, bookmark that I made and I put some stickles on it so it's got some shine to it uh, 173a 173b is this set and it has the instructions on how to make this design here it's four dollars 173c it came apart let me come on here we go it has these two little hearts and a little flower and it says just for you and then a tiny dragonfly and a tiny leaf so that is 173 oops there's another one another little heart 173c that one's four dollars 173d has these stamps in it and some little twigs a little flower and a leaf so it's 173d that one's four dollars and 173e is also four dollars it has a flower pot some sprigs and a couple of flowers so that's 173e also four dollars and last but not least 174 is a shabby chic bundle it has pink um, paper doilies pink tool trim some pink petals some quilt pieces that have pink pink um, roses these are scrap pieces some white trims this one's really pretty um, there's some different ones in here there's a da some a piece of a dangle one and some leaves some pink glitter some more um, trim that you can run a ribbon pink ribbon through it so that's that's the trim there's probably at least four yards in there some peachy flatback pearls some peachy pearl trim 
some bling trim, some crystal dangle trim, that's plastic of course, the pink or the white heart trim, some more peachy um, pearl trims, some pearl and crystal, oh, there's one missing, pearl and crystal trims, looks like there might be some, some missing, hopefully they're in the bottom of the bag, and then all kinds of ribbons and, whoops, there's some more flat backs, bling, and a whole selection of different ribbons and trims in peach, pink, white, and cream. So that is lot 174, the Shabby Chic Bundle, and this one is $12, and I only have this one. And that is it for today. If you stuck with me through this whole thing, I appreciate it. Um, stay tuned for wedding dress items in the next couple of weeks or so. Uh, and thank you very much for helping me de-stash my, my craft room. It has been so hard. Um, but I got through it, and I hopefully will fit what I have left into my new space when I get moved. So thanks for watching and bye for now.